over to Studio B now, guys. We have an event to tell you about for kids of all ages to get them interested in robots and STEM programs. It's the inaugural Texas Robotics Invitational that's happening today. There are 32 teams uh, competing with their robots, that, and they're going to launch these large exercise balls. Uh, we have the team coach here from St. Agnes Academy and Strake Jesuit. This is Alan Gregory, along with a few of our students. Good to have you here, guys. Thanks so much. So, Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, tell us all about your robot. Sure. This is a robot built for the first robotics competition. Um, it's a competition that they build a robot in six weeks. We have students from high schools all over across the country building the robot. Um, so this robot actually shoots an exercise ball. Um, and then it, has to, it can load it in from humans. Um, and then the robot actually has to pass the ball between each other. So they have to work with other teams and other high schools to actually get the most points. How uh, incredible. And you guys are just controlling this over here with, with a joystick? Yes, uh, we use the Xbox controllers to uh, control the robot. This one drives the robot around, moves the wheels around, and this one actually controls all the shooting and picking up. Wow, okay, show us that again. That was really, really cool. Uh, so the event today is actually sponsored by the Texas Workforce Commission. They're uh -huh. actually paying for it to have all the 32 teams come down. Um, the students are doing the programming, all the engineering. They're getting an excellent pre-engineering, basically, program throughout high school. Um, I actually was in the program when I was a freshman in high school, and I've been mentoring and coaching teams since then. And what do you guys love about working with robots? Um, I think it's really fun, and the team's just really great. I personally enjoy building the robot because it's really fun to just make something yourself and sort of see the product and mm -hmm. then see it go. What's been the most challenging aspect of it all? Um, well, one of the most um, challenging aspects of um, doing engineering and being on the team is um, sometimes when you fail, it's hard to think that you can, like, try again. But, like, being mm -hmm. on the team has taught me that you can try again, and there's always somebody to help you, and there's always a lot of cooperation and teamwork that mm -hmm. helps you get through it. And, uh, and this is a, a free event that's yes. happening today, Alan, and it's really designed to get people interested in robots and, and STEM, and so important for kids in high school uh, to get those skills before they go on to college, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is a completely free event. We would love for people to come out to Straight Jesuit High School today. Um, and if you can't come out, we're going to actually have it webcasted. If you go to spectrum3847.org, we'll have the webcast link in there so you can watch it online. Oh, very cool. Okay, and again, this is happening at the Straight Jesuit Gym. Yes. That's correct, at 8900 Bel Air Boulevard. The doors are opening at 7 a.m. Will you be out there all day long? Yeah, we'll be out there till about 5 or so, the championship matches will be played. Uh huh. Okay. Very cool. And so, how are you gonna? How do you win? You guys, are you guys? You think you're gonna win today, or <laughs> what's it gonna take to win? There are a ton of absolutely fantastic teams. We have teams that uh -huh. work with NASA engineers and BP and all sorts of great companies sponsor the program. Exxon Mobil, SolarCraft, a lot of great companies are sponsoring teams and have engineers out there. There's fantastic robots from across the state. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in and showing us. And and again, just so important for kids to learn these skills early on. What's the most important thing you think about working with robots? Uh, they get to actually do something hands on. So instead of just being in the classroom, it's really hard to apply some of these things, all the physics and math and science that they're learning, and you also get to do teamwork that you get from sports, but inside something like a robot and inside of a different community. All right. Check it out, guys. It's the Texas Robotics Invitational happening all day today at Strake Jesuit High School. Thanks again so much for coming in, guys. We really appreciate yeah, it. Let's check in with Isaiah.